So you can see that I got a data and now what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have many ways to run the macro and even if I forget uh, the shortcut keys I have a way to run macros. So let us start here and let's say I want to highlight all of the datas uh, with numbers in it for example. So I'm gonna go into the macros in my uh, in my case I'm gonna go over here and enable macro recording and over here I'm gonna click on this icon so that enables the macros right here the macro name I can add it let's say for example highlight a constant numbers just like this I just want to highlight the constant numbers and not the numbers with formulas over here and the shortcut key I'm gonna add control set U just like this and I, ca I have an option whether to store this macro in this workbook or in my personal mac uh, macro workbook that is the entire PC uh, XLC in the description let's gonna copy this out and whenever you save the Excel you have to make sure that you actually save you know, that you actually enable the macro so that it actually loads up the macro in, even if you restart Excel. I'm going to press OK now and the syntax name is incorrect as it says because it's not except spaces over here. I'm going to press OK and now over here you can see that I got uh, the recording started just like this. So first I'm going to go into because it started recording I can only do the things which I want the macro to do so I'm going to go to fine I'm going to go to go to special in my case I just want to enable the constants with numbers in it so I'm going to do numbers just like this and I'm going to press OK so it highlighted the numbers as you can see only the constant numbers not the numbers with formulas so I want to add in a highlighter over there and make it as a red text, bold it out and underline. All right, so that's what I did. So I'm gonna stop this out right here and the macro has been created. So now what I can do is I can press Control Z. Let me just go back over here. Let me just move forward a bit and I'm going to press Control Shift U and there you go. It has actually searched for the data with the numbers and then highlighted it. So you can see that this is how you can add in. So let's say I didn't, uh, I add in more numbers just like this. Control Shift U, and there you go. That has been highlighted as well. So it says for the data itself, and it has highlighted the data for me just like that. Let me add in a random bunch of numbers just like this. So let's say I forgot my uh, shortcut key, and because like if you have a lot of macros, you might not remember it all. In that case, you can assign a button for it as well. For example, I'm, I can go to the quick access toolbar over here and I can go to more commands. Over here, you can see that there's popular commands right there. So I can go over here and just select macros. And you can see that highlight constant numbers. The macro is there. Simply add it and modify this. You can choose an icon for this. For example, I'm going to choose this or this, the tick mark. Press OK and OK right here. So once I do that, you can see that the tick mark has appeared just like this. I add in some a text, I add in some numbers, and if I click the tick mark, every, every number has been highlighted just like this. You can go over here, you can press, add in some data over here, just the numbers, tick mark, and there you go, it has been highlighted. Alternatively, what you can also do is you can assign macros to a shape or a picture. So I'm going to go into insert right here. I'm going to go into shape and I'm going to select a shape right here. So this is going to be highlight numbers just like this. So what I can do is I can right click and I can assign a macro as you can see right here. So assign macro, choose the macro that you want, press OK. And whenever I click here, now the macro is applied so as you can see. So I just write in the numbers, highlight numbers, and there you go. That has been applied just like that. You can also do this to a picture. So you can go to online pictures or shapes just like that and apply the same method. So you can simply right click, assign a macro just like that. So that is how you can run macro uh, in different ways inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.